Now that we've reached lesson 13, it's a little mini project assessment again. On this one, uh, on the previous one, you've been asked to create like a scene. Um, and this time you're asked to create that scene, uh, but have animation in it. So we can uh, see the example that uh, they give us right here. As we run that, we can see that the text is rotating, we have the guy rotating back and forth, and we have our sprite uh, coming across. So again, we can use that same animated scene or create a new animated scene from last time and just add some animation into it. So again, as you progress through the bubbles, they give you time to plan out your background, your text, um, and so on. And then the last one is our new portion, which is adding movement to it. So this is really a chance to show that you know how to program some movement on your own to your desired effect.